So if your watch is doing this, either showing the Garmin logo or just simply Garmin on the front of it, every time you try to start an activity, I'm gonna explain what's going on with this crash reboot scenario that started today. Uh, so essentially, this is impacting not just me, but likely millions of other people as well, but not every single person with the Garmin watch and not every single watch, though, frankly, the vast majority of Garmin watches. So starting off with who this is impacting. This is impacting essentially anyone with the Garmin watch from the last couple of years. Uh, so if you've got like a Phoenix 7, a Phoenix 8, a Garmin Venue series, uh, Venue 2, 3, it sounds like, a uh, Garmin Forerunner series, Garmin Instinct series, etc. Anything last couple years, this is impacting you. The way it manifests itself is when you go and try to open up the sport menu, for example, right there, uh, if you're hovering over something in there that's a GPS sport activity, it's gonna restart in, well, that much time right there. Uh, now, if you were to go ahead and quickly hit that indoor activity like bike indoor, etc., then you might be able to escape it and then you're good to go. Whereas if you open up a GPS activity that lights up the GPS inside this, boom, instant crash and there's nothing you can do about it. The second way it manifests itself is just to continual reboot like on my 40965 here. The way you can get around this is to long hold this upper left hand button right there. For 30 to 60 seconds, it'll hard reboot it and then you should be good to go at that point. Uh, now, in terms of this, it's not just the sport menu. It can also be things like the Tides app. If you're going ahead and looking for Tides using GPS, it can be other things in the watch that leverages GPS. Now, the question is what is actually going on? Well, it's the exact same thing that happened exactly four years ago when this happened for their Sony GPS chipsets, except then it didn't just impact Garmin, but also Polar and Wahoo and Koros and Sunto, everyone that was using that GPS chipset at the time, which is the so-called satellite precache file uh, or EPO file or CPE file, depending on what you want to call it. Uh, all of those things are essentially a file that your watch receives on a frequent basis every few days, uh, almost as frequent as those dogs are barking back there, uh, but every few days to go ahead and tell it where the satellites are in the sky. It allows your watch to find GPS very, very quickly. For example, if I were to go ahead and just escape out of this menu here and then open up this Phoenix watch, I press the OK button, run, it's going to find GPS like virtually instantly right there. Uh, now, that's because it knows where all those satellites are in the sky. It simply started like eight or 10 years ago uh, and it makes GPS is fine with a couple seconds as opposed to like 90 seconds or so. If that file expires, then you have to wait that 90 seconds. But in this case, we have something far worse, which is the file is somehow corrupted. As a result of that, all these watches have corrupted files that is causing the watch to crash instantly. So then how do we fix this? Well, grab your handy dandy phone here, open up the Garmin Connect app, and then go into devices, and you'll see your device listed at the top right there or wherever your device may be. Uh, and then hit that little swirly icon to forcibly sync the device. You'll see it swirl at the top there if you tap it open uh, to get more details, and then it should be done. Back here on the watch, you should be able to go into the sport menu, choose bike, uh, and or whatever other outdoor sport, and then hopefully it won't crash. And you can see there, it, it just crashed. So yeah, just gotta wait. Uh, Garmin says that should be working. It's, it's not working yet. It's unfortunate because I thought my video was gonna be done, but uh, yeah, that's what you'll be doing though. That's, that should be what you're doing. It's not working in mine, but that's what you're supposed to be doing to get it fixed. Good luck with that. Okay, good news, I've got this fixed. Uh, so. I've got three options for you. Hopefully the first one I already talked about did it. If it didn't, we're on number two, and then we got some messiness after that. So go ahead now and long hold this upper hand button, left hand button right there until it restarts. Do not be tempted to do the emergency assistance right there if that's enabled on your watch. I am emergency assistance. So just keep on holding, keep on holding until the screen goes blank. Should be any couple seconds. There we go. Now you can let go of the button, okay? And now it's gonna restart. This might seem like the crash that you were just in, and in many ways it kind of is. Except what this will do is this will start a fresh sync with Garmin Connect and mobile app. Once it turns back on here, now it's back on, grab your phone, do the sync, the same thing before, go into devices, go ahead and press sync. You should see it'll take a little bit longer this time. It should maybe take like 20 or 30 seconds. And now I can press the upper right hand button, I can choose bike, get past the daily suggested workout, and I'm good to go. No more crashing. Another option in between here, which is kind of the same thing, but if you got Garmin Express on your computer, you can also do the sync there as well with a, a cable. That's the thing that you attach to the back to computer. Not wireless, but hey, maybe you're not using a smartphone, so you can still do that with Garmin Express on your computer as well. So then what's the third option? 
Well, the third option's messier. Third option, you gotta go ahead and basically hard reset your entire device. Uh, I will link down the description on how to do that down below. Definitely try the first and second options first and maybe even give it a little bit longer on the second option. Go, like, go have lunch or something or whatever the case is first. Then try that second option again because the third option means you lose all the settings on your device. Uh, now, in theory, most of the new Garmin devices will allow you to restore those settings when you set that device back up again, but not every device does that. So that'd be kind of a bit of a bummer. I'll link to some instructions down below on how to do that because again it's a little bit messier on getting that done as well as maybe cleaning up any files that are still there. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful. As you can see, it has not yet crashed, which is good. Uh, and then tomorrow I've got my in-depth review of, ironically enough, this watch, that watch back there, where we'll talk about all the crashes, not just uh, these crashes, but other crashes as well. And hopefully some of the fixes that uh, will have resolved those crashes too. With that, have a good one.